welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel myself is professor dr rr deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology that is kaya chikitsa and kriya sharira for paid online consultation or paid online bms classes you can definitely whatsapp me only on 9226810630 today's topic is yellow fever this is one of the type of the fever but not very common in all parts of the world huh? so in india at least it is not very frequently seen in the general medical practice but as a for theoretical purpose for examination purpose you must understand what is yellow fever what are the symptoms what are the causes and what is the management this yellow fever you will get this video in the playlist of my youtube channel kaya chikitsa that is ayurvedic internal medicine and of course there are various videos regarding the modern medicines as well so let us start to discuss about this yellow fever this lecture is under kaya chikitsa subject of ayurved fourth year bms but from 2022 from this year this may be uh, the new format new structure has been reformed by the government for the bms course and now there will be only first second and third bms first bms second bms third bms each of one and half year okay but this is as per today this is for fourth year bms ccm syllabus paper 1 part b point number 1 that is fever or in ayurveda fever is called as a jwar and this is one of the type of the cause of the fever is yellow fever so cause of the yellow fever is virus so this is viral fever vector female edis aegypti uh, this particular uh, is causative factor the female it is must bite a diseased person within first four days of the disease after 10 to 20 days of latent period the edis becomes ineffective as long as 7 months intubation period for the yellow fever is only 3 to 6 days that means after getting the bite from this female mosquito uh, this viral uh, virus will enter into the body and symptoms will start developing within the period of 3 to 6 days so from the uh, causative factors up to the uh, what you can say the implementation of that uh, toxin and getting the symptoms that particular period is called incubation period clinical features if there is no immunity three stages are seen first stage is fever with rigor fever with rigor is seen in very few diseases try to understand fever with chill is common but very very uh, strong feeling of cold that is called as a rigor okay so fever with rigor is common in malaria in urinary tract infections and this yellow fever fever with rigor maximum on the first day and gradually that fever declines like dengue there is pain around the eyeballs i am sorry there is a printing mistake if you allow me even i can immediately try to correct it so that there should not be any confusion in reading these particular lines okay so i have corrected that i am saving this ppt and now again i am going for powerpoint presentation okay so like dengue pain around eyeball headache and bone pain eyes become red tongue is coated and there me vomiting may be seen sometimes with blood hematemesis vomiting with blood is called hematemesis first stage continued symptoms of meningeal irritation like photophobia fear to looking towards the light that is called as a photo phobia phobia is a fear and photo means light then there will be neck stiffness neck stiffness is always a speciality of inflammation of meninges meninges means brain coverings disproportionate fall of pulse in relation to the temperature this is marked on the third day and this particular situation is called as a faggots sign remember this term this is for yellow fever faggots sign what is this faggots sign disproportional fall of pulse in relation to again there is a 
typing mistake so let me correct it also this r should be added okay i again i am going to save this so you are learning and we are learning together <laughs> sorry so you must uh, excuse me for such a uh, uh, little bit mistakes here and there disproportional fall of pulse in relation to temperature this is marked on the third day and this particular stage lasts for four days second stage of the yellow fever temperature comes down to normal and many cases recover very fast very few are going land into the third stage actually the fever ends over here but some land in the third stage and that is a very serious cases temperature starts again rising but pulse remains slow that is again similar to the typhoid fever relative bradycardia okay involvement of the liver and kidney there may be uh, as liver is inflamed jaundice will be there bleeding will be there portal hypertension proteinuria will be there kidney affection liver will be palpable that is hepatomegaly and tender renal angle tenderness will be there it, it indicates the inflammation of kidney remember renal angle tenderness from the lower tip of the scapula from the back side you have to test this renal angle tenderness and very few cases land into coma and then death so yellow fever clinical features number 1 fever number 2 rash i am sorry then back pain will be there can you see back pain headache eye pain and joint pains investigations urine routine examination it will show albuminuria red blood cells in the urine that is hematuria bile pigments are present because of the jaundice and cast will present it indicates the inflammation of parenchyma renal parenchyma okay leukopenia leuko means white cells penia means less in number so white blood cells will have the less count normal white blood cell count everybody knows 4 to 11000 per cubic mm so in typhoid in yellow fever leukopenia it will remain 4000 or even 3000 per cubic mm that is the less 4 5 6 this is the less count and when it goes above 11000 that is leukocytosis so leukopenia is less and leukocytosis is more this is liver function test hgpt this enzyme will be raised because of the liver parenchyma damage serum bilirubin uh, in jaundice that will also raised what will, uh, will be the treatment for yellow fever symptomatic treatment prevention you have to give 17d vaccine 17 17d vaccine is given a single dose of 0.5 ml subcutaneous of reconstituted vaccine gives immunity for more than 10 years taken at least 10 days before travel to endemic countries this injection is moreover given to the uh, who are traveling abroad uh, the patient should uh, take this particular injection if they are traveling to the endemic countries yellow fever name is not given because it causes the jaundice this is misunderstanding many students confused in answering why the name yellow fever there is no connection with the jaundice why the name name is due to the yellow quarantine flag was used by the ships to give warning of the highly infectious fatal disease this flag which was uh, uh, used by the ships this is yellow color so according to the flag color the name is yellow fever and not because of the jaundice this is found rarely in asian population endemic in africa and american countries caused by the arbovirus and transmitted by mosquitoes so these are the uh, different uh, uh, yellow colored areas that you can see ethiopia he is here sudan is here nigeria is here uh, so all these uh, different parts of the world you can see in this particular uh, uh, map next yellow fever causes symptoms like other viral hemorrhagic fevers but the, with severe hepatic and renal involvement and death seen in children below 15 years in endemic countries yellow fever vaccine is now included in epi that is expanded program of immunization and this is given yellow fever is vaccine is given at the 9th month after birth so my dear friends this is a 
short review of the yellow fever uh, type of the disease. And this lecture is under the uh, title Kai Kikitsa lecture for the fourth year BMS or from 2022, it will be also included for third year BMS as per CCM syllabus, paper one, part B, point number one, fever and subtopic is yellow fever. But as this is an educational video, every time I warn you that disclaimer, Vaidhani Kishara, Kaunsi Bhi Bimari Me Yathavashya Kya Kal, Vaidhi Kya Salah Lena Bhoti Jirurat Hai. If you are suffering from cerebral palsy, arthritis or diabetes, heart problem, motor neuron disease, cancer, ADHD, hyperactive, ITP, such type of any chronic or autoimmune diseases, you can definitely WhatsApp me on 9226710630 for paid online consultation or paid online BMS classes. So I wish, I request you to like this video, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and press the button icon. I wish all the best, take care, and bye-bye. All the best for your exam, all the best for your medical practice. Sarve Pisukina Santu, Sarve Santu Niramayaha. Sarve Bhadrani Pashchantu, Maakashchit Dukkha Maakmila.